Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper. Don't know why I just said it like that. <laughs> so today, what I'm going to do is, as you see, I don't remember if I told you guys about this KitchenAid. So, um, the last time I made bath bombs, I had mentioned I wanted KitchenAid. Long story short, eBay and uh, Craigslist, only if you, know, you feel safe with it, is your best friend. So, this booger here is in amazing shape um there was a lady on craigslist who lived in my area she lived a couple of blocks over actually and she was selling it and she gave me the meat grinder attachment the dough hook the whisk and a paddle and i'm just like cool man so um i had purchased why well, i actually contact another person and while i'm telling you guys about this story what i'm doing today is making embeds um i guess I want to use a cup I don't know let me think about that for a second yeah I'll just go ahead and use a cup but um yeah so I had already made an inquiry about a uh, KitchenAid from eBay and the person hadn't gotten back with me so nope that was Lord guys I'm all over the place Anywho, that was from Craigslist. The person hadn't gotten back with me. And then I inquired about this. She didn't say anything. So I went on eBay, purchased one. I paid, I think, 70 bucks for the one on eBay. And I think I paid 50 Yeah, I ended up paying 50 for this one. So um, after I purchased the one on eBay, she contacted me. And it was going to take seven business days the guy said on ebay and i needed it at that point then because i was making uh, bubble bars so um she actually met up with me and i bought this one then the other one came a week later so i ended up with two awesome sauce kitchen aids so sorry that took forever for me to explain but yeah i'm so super stinking happy that i have these because they work wonders they cut down my time i mean it just ugh, i can't explain how much these really really help now um i did buy the one with the scraper because it does help as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. I'm, it's that time of year. It's bath bomb season. Because my craft fair. All that fun stuff. So that's why um, I am making these. I don't really make bath bombs all too often. And um, I do make them for the craft fairs. Because the young girls love them. So um, I'm just. I don't have to do this. But I just choose to while I'm talking. Break up the lumps in here. I'm not putting anything special in here. What's going to go in here is just citric acid and baking soda and some H2O. <laughs> That's it. I'm not even doing alcohol. I'm just going to pop a little water in here and call it a day. So, um, let me get my citric acid in here. And then I'll turn it on and show you guys if it doesn't get too fluffy. Okay? Be back in a sec. Okay, so um, I do have my citric acid in here. And, um, also, I'm using some Lake Dice. Um, I've never, I've had these, and I forgot. I keep forgetting, because I have the Liquid Lakes, and they're just kind of tucked over. These were tucked over on my shelf, and I'm like, gosh darn it. So, um, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and test these out today. I don't know exactly how much I'm going to need, because I've never used them. Which, you know, you don't need a whole lot. And, guys, okay, I have to say this. If you don't know who Body Bon Bon is... You need to know who Body Bon Bon is. If you're into bath bombs and um, bubble bars and things like that, you got to go to her channel. Come on. You have to. You must. I don't understand why she doesn't have more subscribers. She needs more subscribers. You guys need to go over there and just flood her channel and tell her that I sent you because I love her. She's awesome. <laughs> I, our personalities are a lot alike. <laughs> but she is an amazing. I know I mentioned this in some video a long time ago. But I um, mentioned her in another video. But you got to go over and check her out if you haven't. Please show her some love and support because the woman makes extraordinary you hear me? Absolutely extraordinary bath bombs. I don't know how she does it. I've tried her methods. It ain't gonna work, so I gave up. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's she's a hoot to listen to, and she just makes the most fantabulous bath bombs. So, um, I know there's gonna be a whole lot of floofing going on, because it is already. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and um, put this down. And I have a story. So, I had a big order. 
Okay, I just lock this. I had a big order for some bath bombs a couple of weeks ago. And, um, I, <laughs> I hadn't used this in a while. And we got a wee bit confused. <laughs> and I was supposed to be turning it down, but I ended up turning it on 10. And a uh, bath bomb powder mixture went everywhere. I mean, my whole face was white. The floor, my shelves, my soaps, my everything. I was so livid. And I tell my mom about it. And she goes, you should have recorded it. But I was so peeved. That was the last thing I wanted to do. So I've learned um, which way to go now. <laughs> so you see that I poured the water in here and it puffed up for a sec. But this mixer just keeps everything at bay so it doesn't, you know, fizzle on out. So I'm going to let that rock on. And then I'm going to add a little bit of... Oh, I just fell in there. I didn't even really try. So as you guys just see, or can you see? I don't think you can see. I'm just tapping my spoon. These lakes are amaze balls. I just, a, a little bit of dust has fallen in here and it's coloring it like that already. So we're going to keep letting this go. I'm going to keep gingerly adding my blue. I don't know how blue I want these, but uh, we're just going to keep letting it go. That's a pretty blue, but I think I want it darker. Darker! So, just keep adding a little bit. And this, I mean, this KitchenAid, guys, especially if it's for bath and body products, just try to find you a KitchenAid on Craigslist if you trust it or eBay or somewhere. Don't go out and buy a new one and don't use the one that you cook with. Um, they're so, they come in handy like you, you wouldn't believe how these things come in handy. I mean, it just cuts down the time on bath bombs and bubble bars and just I'm telling you I needed it in my life okay so all that rubbing and trying to get the colors to mix in I didn't have to do none of that um, I'm gonna go ahead and just step the whole lot of that in there but yeah I didn't have to do none of that you see this does it all for me so it is worth it and I end up getting two kitchen needs for the price still less than the price of one yay I mean you can't do better than that so this is going nicely um, when it is done, I'm going to let it go for a little bit longer. And yeah, also I suggest that you get the scraper with the rubber uh, edges because it does scrape your bowl. Because when you use the hook without the scraper on it, you got to keep stopping it and go around the bowl and clean it out. So, alright, I'm going to let this go just for a few seconds more and then I'll bring you guys back when I get ready to make my end bags. See you in a sec. Alright guys, I am back and um, my mixture is good to go. And what I am going to do, I don't really do this neatly, because really what's the purpose? They're just in beds. So this little MOA I found on Wish, I think. And um, I thought they were much smaller. I was going to make some little jeweled um, melt and pour in beds, but um, they're really big. So <laughs> can't use that. Um, so what I'm going to do is just push this down in here. And, um, yeah, I have too much, but that's okay, because I could just re-wet this and, um, do it over if I need to. So I'm just going to kind of keep running my fingers over it, try to get everything down in these cavities. And, um, push down. I just kind of go back and forth until it all fits in there. Um, what was I going to tell you guys? Something I was going to tell you guys before I came back. I don't remember. So, that's all I do. Um, oh, also, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to do a color test, and I think I did this bath backwards because <laughs> I already put it in the mold. So, what really would be the purpose in doing the color test? But I'm going to do it anyway, just to see um, what colors I'm going to end up with. And I will use that batter because I don't waste nothing now. Alright, so now I'm just going to kind of give a press down with my fingers to make sure they're nice and packed in. This is really simple. It does, I mean, it doesn't really take any thought to doing these. And sorry about all the cellophane noise, but I just don't like cleaning up masses, massive messes when I'm done, you know, making bath bombs because they are quite messy for me. Hence me call, being called a messy soaper. I'm a messy everything. So, go ahead and push those in there. But yeah, be sure to check out Irene, guys. I know a lot of you, you already know who she is, but 
for those of you who don't, be sure to check her out. You will have so much fun watching her channel because she is absolutely hilarious. And um, she just makes beautiful products. She, to me, honestly, Lush has nothing on her. That's how great her bath bombs are. She's from Australia as well. And um, she offers recipes for some of her items that she makes too. So I'm going to go ahead and set those off to the side just for a few. They're actually getting pretty hard already. <laughs> um, I never seem to find my darn scraper when I need it. That's super annoying, but anywho. Um, so I'm going to take that and push it over here. And matter of fact, I'm going to lift you guys up. Am I? I think I'm just about to make an even bigger mess. Never mind. I did pull out a little piece right here. So I'm going to drop this in here. I'll hold up so you guys can see. So that's going to be a very light blue. I think I wanted it darker. So the next lot I'll make a wee bit darker. Because I don't want light blue in beds. I want dark blue in beds. So. <laughs> and if this is just um, a little bit of water. It's going to be even more faint. Um, even more faint when it goes in the tub. It's a pretty blue though. But I would just prefer that it be darker. So I'm going to do the red. And then when I'm ready to. Oh and I like to pop my in beds in the oven. Just let the, so they'll be rock hard um, just for a few minutes so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and um, make my red and when I'm ready to make my entire batch of bath bombs I will be back see you guys in a minute all right guys I am back and what I have is my red in beds and I have my blue in beds so I just popped them in there with some other in beds that I had for a while and here's my mixture I did give my recipe um, for bath bombs in another video and you can check that out just go to my home page and look at my videos you might have to go through a couple of pages because i did it i think that was before the summer so it might be on the second page i'm not sure but you can find it there so it's the same recipe it's just a bigger batch um so of course i use more now um i turned this on and i was starting to have floofage when i say floofage i mean it was starting to come out the bowl and i do have um a bigger bowl to my other stand mixer but anybody got time for that <laughs> i don't feel like taking all this out and moving it and yes i know this is just so dumb i really should just be using the bigger one and this is a bigger bowl than the one i made my embeds in i just still need a even bigger bowl so what i'm going to do is take one of gabe's old t-shirts and just go ahead and plop it over the top of it like that because again don't i have time for that and there's like I cut the sleeves off so there's a hole right here and that's where I'm going to pour my wet ingredients which are in here and I fragrance this with um uh, rustic essentials did I throw the bottle away I did uh rustic essentials cranberry salsa nope right here have a little bottle right there and it smells maize balls and um this should probably make about I want to say 12 bath bombs so um hopefully all right, guys and girls, that was my mama. So, uh, back to where I was. Yeah, so I let it go um, just to kind of mix things up. And yeah, if I open it, you wouldn't be able to see because um, the stuff is blowing everywhere. So, what I'm going to do is take my wet ingredients and find that armhole and slowly pour it in there. I'm even having the floofage come out of the armhole. <laughs> So I'm going to hurry up and go ahead and get that poured in because uh, I don't feel like I have my face covered. And so it's Strugglesville right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for a second and see why it's struggling. And I do have it on the lowest setting just because I didn't want stuff flying everywhere. So let me lift this up and see what's going on in there. Okay. And I like this one better um, because it has a tilt head. It's just more convenient versus the... The one that you raise up and down so um i probably need to turn that up that's why it's struggling so i'm gonna go ahead and pour the rest of that in there and give it a scrape and i'm not going to boil you guys so once all of this is nice and um the texture of sand i will come back and show you guys what i'm going to do next oh and i didn't tell you i am going to put some like the little holiday sugar candies in here I use some of these in my um, wax tarts you guys saw that video so probably use these and plop them in there because these are called reindeer poo 
All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I decided to, with along, along with um, the candy bits, um, the sugar candy bits, I decided to put some glitter. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but um, it's very nice in here. It's not too overpowering, and I figure, you know, it's reindeer poo, so <laughs> it should be fun, right? Not real reindeer poo. I don't think real reindeer poo is fun, but this version is, and it smells so good. So, what we're going to do is go ahead and just put a little bit in there. And then I'm going to take a red and blue and stack them on top of each other like that. Put a little bit more, just like that. Cover it up. I'm not pressing down as I'm doing this because there's no purpose. Put one there and put one there. Um, I think that's, I did one already. I just wanted to see before I came on camera and embarrassed myself in front of you all. <laughs> so... Um, just mount it up like that, and hopefully they don't peek through. I think I use smaller ones, but anywho, we're going to make it work. I just want to kind of cover those in bits. Oh, this glitter just gave it life, y'all. It really did. Yeah, if I can keep those in bits covered up, that would be great. So we're going to kind of dig this pretty shallow, this other side. Now you want your batter to be kind of like, uh wet sand that's that's exactly what you want it to be like um because that is what makes it stick and i just sliced one of my embeds <laughs> but that's okay even if it shows through and i'm going to take these and pop them in the oven just because when i put my i have a humidity problem and yeah i have my dehumidifier but um mine start to crack pretty fast so and you know, guys, um, I had gone to lunch uh, on my lunch break. Well, I had gone, my coworkers, we don't have Chick-fil-A here. Well, we, we do now, but we didn't at first. And uh, we only, I take that back, we had two, but they were so far away, like an hour away. And then the other one wasn't full service, so nobody really wants to go there. So we got one at this mall by me, this really expensive, ridiculously expensive mall by me. And so my coworkers wanted to go there. And uh, we go in there. The line was ridiculous. I mean, there was like a probably two hour wait, which I didn't see the purpose in that. So I didn't get it. I just ended up going over to Lush just to check them out and see what they were up to because I've not been in Lush in a while. Okay, you know, don't get on camera and embarrass me, bath bomb. Hmm, okay. Let me give that a pat down. And, um,. Yeah, their bath bombs, I don't know if they've just gotten too big, but their bath bombs are looking quite haggard, at least at the location. Oh, that's real funny. So, <laughs> this one wants to misbehave. I don't know why it's acting like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Well, actually, I'm going to squeeze it back down and beat the hell out of it. And then hopefully the top will fall down. And I love these stainless steel um, bath bombs because I can really put a hurting on these puppies and it doesn't damage them. Unlike the aluminums, you barely tap that thing or sneeze at it and it has a dent in it. And the plastic ones, I love those. Those are my fave, but, you know, they don't last very long. So, yep, that didn't work out too well. So, um, we're just going to redo that one. Why it's stuck in the top of this metal like that. And I'm not joking. I did do one already. Hello, this one right here. Perfect. Came out just fine. So, I'm not lying to you all. <laughs> I don't know why this one just wants to be a turd. A tad, I tell you. So, let's turn it upside down. Make sure it's clean. I'm going to just press that back down and call it a day. I'm not going to remold this. No, I'm not. So, ooh, that one's kind of stiff. Okay, put some elbow grease into that. Uh, hold on, guys. Hunter's here. She's ex she's complaining because her trip of driving was very annoying. Hey, guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm complaining, but that drive was horrific. Yeah, she's been gone because uh, I never really take bottles back to the store. Shame, shame. So I sent her on a run, and she probably got like 50 bucks worth of, <laughs> worth of bottles. It was. How much was it, actually? You don't know? I forgot. I spent it on Chipotle. Oh, cool. Alright, guys. So, yeah, Fellsville. Um, I'll be back. <laughs> Alright, guys. I went on and unmoved that one. Um, it was a bit of a struggle. So, here that one is. And I promise it's not the first one because that one's there. Um, but, um, 
Yeah, when I was thinking about Lush, their, oh my gosh, their bath bombs are looking kind of battered. I'm like, what is going on? You guys just don't care no more? So, <laughs> I felt bad about the way, you know, some of mine were looking, but hell, that made me feel great. Because <laughs> mine looked amazing compared to theirs, but still, I'm not going to just make mine look any, any kind of way, just because they do. But yeah, just, I don't know, I think they've gotten too big. Who knows? But, um, still love them, though. <laughs> um... Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and try that again. And this time I'm going to give these a little spritzer with some alcohol so they can like kind of adhere and stop being a jerk. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, oops, I guess I got to probably put some around it or it's not going to sit up. Find a small blue one. And of course I'm not going to do all of this. No, I just said I was going to spritz these. I'm not going to do all of them on camera because that would just be repetitive, wouldn't it? But, um, yeah. I just wanted to come and show you guys a few of these. I'm going to show them to you when I'm done because they're super cute. And I did a test, um, with my ambush just to see what color the water would turn because I wanted a purple and it does turn purple. Yay. So, happy about that. Um, go ahead and kind of loosely pack this one so hopefully it doesn't break apart like my other one did because that's not cool all right so I go ahead and put that on there and mash down as hot as you can oh well that one went down pretty easily and remember to not overfill them because that's what caused them to expand and burst open and then you'll come in the next day and they're all like split open and you had eight bath bombs now you got 16 not fun ask me how I know <laughs> So, just don't overpack them, just pack them just enough. There you go. And, oh, the reason why I pop mine in the oven, because it makes them rock hard, like you can bust a window with one. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I like to do that for mine. Um, and I just put it on the lowest setting of the oven, like 170, that's the lowest mine goes. And, um, let them sit in for like maybe not even 10 minutes probably about five to seven minutes and then i take them out let them cool down and then they're really hard because i did my embeds like that and they're really hard so yeah i'm knocking them together they're pretty hard so i like to do that just because it helps me and then as soon as i take them out the oven because they do like to expand even though like during the cooling process they will expand i go ahead and wrap them and that way i don't have to deal with them popping open which they, i really don't have that problem anymore but we're just gonna make sure you don't have to deal with that so go ahead and pop those in there and i keep forgetting to spray okay there we go so i'm gonna do I think quite a few bath bombs tonight, and I might come back and record. I am not sure. Um, just depends on how I feel. So, I'm going to do this last one and go and kind of speed up and then get these in the oven. And that way, I can keep rolling through, you know? Yeah, I knew. And then go ahead and cover those boogies up as best you can. And I kind of just give them a squeeze in. Because I like, like I said, you want to pack the, um, your bubble, bu um, bubble bar. <laughs> These are not bubble bars, your bath bomb mixture up on the side of, uh, to cover the embeds. I mean, if you see it, no big deal, but I like for mine to be covered, you know. So, go ahead and put a little bit more loosely. As you see, I'm kind of like uh sifting through it before i so it's very lightly packed before i put the top one and that way i know it's just enough but it's not overly packed to the point they're gonna try to burst out and escape <laughs> or you can't get the two halves together because i've done that too so just go around it give it a tap on the top and give it a tap on the bottom or the other top or whatever you want to say and there you have it there you have it all right guys so yeah that's all i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and take these and pop them in the oven just because i like to do them in sets 
So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If I decide to come back, you'll see me. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll let you know. Because you'll see me, right? Anywho, um, if you did enjoy this video, please do give a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to my channel, hello! I'm so freaking happy you found me. And if you watched this far and you have not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is absolutely free. And it will help this channel grow. You do want to help this channel grow, don't you? If it grows more, the more I make videos, the more fun stuff for you all to watch. You know, you know, you know. Helping hands. Helping each other out. Looking out for each other. Alright guys, so that's it. Peace out. I'll see you on the next video. Or I might just come back. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so I decided to come back. Um, Actually, this is the next day. And um, I'm going to make these here. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is white with sky blue glitter and these are snowman poop yes i have a poop theme going on here but people seem to like that kind of stuff at craft fast so therefore i will give them what they want so um i'll just mold a couple of these and i think i'll do a couple of batches and just um if it takes a couple of days and i'll just come back when i do it and record and let you guys see so this is nice and uh sand like sandy like so I'm going to use the same blue embeds. I'm not going to put red in these. I love this glitter and it makes them look pale blue. There's no color in this at all. So go ahead and just fill that up. Plop an embed in. Mount it some more. And get my other half. And this time I decided not to put any oil in these like I normally do. I just used water like the way I started out doing them because I just like the texture I like the way they feel when I just use water um, when I use alcohol uh, and oils well especially alcohol not so much the oils I try not to use too much oil because they do help the bath bombs stick together but with the oils they will make the tub slippery so um, um, I just tend to like to use water just because water is water <laughs> it's not gonna cause any problems so I don't even have a spoon to tap this but there you go so I'll do a few more I'll let you guys see Isn't that pretty see I like how smooth that is when I use the alcohol they kind of get a little bit crumbly and I don't I don't really necessarily like that so sit that there I'll do a couple more pretty simple stuff and if I, I'll probably need to make more embeds. The only downfall with water is it fizzes down your batter. But um, I use my sand mixer like I showed you guys with the first set of them. Um, it does help with, you know, them fizzing away. With, to stop them from fizzing away. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to use water. I'm going to try a bunch of different methods to see which ones I like the most. So, give those sides a little squeeze. And, et voila another one okay and one more and then we will move on to the next pop that in there mount them on the top so i probably won't get as many as i did like the last batch because again i add water and squeeze get a nice workout oh and i didn't even tell you guys this is a fragrance in Flannel Sheets by Rustic Essential and guys, let me tell you, it smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good in here. It smells like fresh, clean laundry. So, I'm a big fan. And I really wanted to use that. And I'm not going to make any more soaps to take to the craft fair, so I will put them in my bath bombs and in my candles. And there you have it. Okay, so um, I will come back when I start my next batch. See you guys then. Alright guys, I finished my uh, snowman poops. Um... As you can see, I painted them little faces. Some of them are worse for wear, but oh well, they're cute still. <laughs> so what I did was I just took um, oil and glitter and black um, activated charcoal. And then the nose is um, orange oxide. Yeah, orange oxide and oil. And just took a little stiff brush and just kind of poked them around. So... Hopefully you like these. Um, they are super stinking cute. And I don't know if you can see the glitter on them. But they are just adorbs. Okay. So I'm going to wrap these up. Because they are rock hard. That's why I say I like using water. But of course it depends on where you live. Um, 
I notice every time I make the ones with the oil, um, they have a tendency to crack. So I'm just going to go back to my old recipe of water. And that's why I was using different recipes. Just give you guys options of what you can use. Um, so yeah, on to the next bombs. I'll be back. Okay guys, what I got in here is some, um, some Karma fragrance. It's a Lush dupe. And I use uh, the Bath Bomb Blue Lake Color. And I love this color. So I'm going to put some red embeds in there. And it's just about ready. So I can go ahead and turn that off. Like that. And then I'm going to bring you guys over here. And lift this up. Just give me a second. We're making a mess. That's what I'm doing. So I didn't want everything to be fruity and fruity now floral which actually i haven't done any floral yet but i'm going to and i love the smell of uh that lush dupe uh called karma it smells so good and i made a soap called good karma for those of you who remember so these are going to be the good karma bath bombs and this is a very oh that feels nice very nice consistency so i thought about putting glitter in it but I don't think so. I'm not sure. But what I am going to do is put some calendula petals in it because I want it to be like a peaceful type of bath bomb with blue water and I am going to put a red embed in it. So let me grab my... Oh, are you guys straight? No, you're not. So there you go. I probably should lift you down. Lift you down. Uh, there you go. <laughs> lift you down. <laughs> put you down. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab some of that. This one is very, very, very sand-like for sure. So I'll go ahead and pop a red one in there. And I kind of want to, yeah, since I have these embeds, I might as well just go ahead and use them. Um, I don't know how many is going to fit in here. So we'll just do that for now. Oh, yeah, this is like, this is like Play-Doh. <laughs> And I think I'm going to take one of those embeds out just because I don't feel like fighting with them. Yeah, I might have made this one a little bit too moist, so I'm definitely going to pop these in the um, oven as soon as I'm done. Because this is kind of just like, <sighs> like that, uh, what's that sand called? I forget, it's, it's pretty popular. Moon sand, that's what it is. It feels like moon sand. And I might need a spoon to bang these to get them out just because this one is very sticky so we will see oh gosh darn it i did say i was going to put some petals in it duh forgot so um let's just see okay that worked out so then what i'm going to do let's go ahead and take this little baggie of petals pop that open and i'll just put some off to the side like that and um put some i should probably just put them on top and then press them in uh i don't know how this is gonna go guys <laughs> i'm just being lazy i don't i really don't want to um take this and bust it open and redo it i just don't so i'm just gonna hold that upside down and give her a little bit of a squeeze and hopefully they'll go ahead and stick to the top and if they fall off that's fine um, I'm just going to pack them up and they'll sit on top and, you know, just in case a person doesn't want flower petals floating around in their tub. All right. So there we go. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing because I keep going out of frame. So yeah, those aren't going to stick. I'll have to, I'll figure that one out because it's so beautiful. I really don't want to bust it open. <laughs> so, um, Maybe I'll just stick these on top when I package them. I'll figure it out. So sit that there. That is a brilliant blue. I love that blue. Okay, so let's put a little bit more of the petals in there. I actually like this texture better, hopefully. It doesn't go bursting open on me. They'll stay closed. Um, but we're going to find out, aren't we? I'm not going to fill it as much as I did because I know these are going to expand because they're wetter so there we go 
and that's why I say I like using water because you don't need to tap it with a spoon they just kind of melt together and you open it off your girl you know you know you know okay well, there you have it and <laughs> you cannot see a single petal in there anywhere <laughs> It'll be a nice, oh, there we go. I was going to say it'll be a nice surprise when it goes in the tub, but you can actually see it. Okay. And a little bit more, and then this will be the last one I do on camera. And I think, yeah, this video is just going to be a whole video of bath bomb making. I think, I don't know exactly how many I'm going to do for you guys, but um, I think that's what I want to do. Add a little bit more in there because that was kind of shallow. <clears throat> Give it a good old squeeze. And oh, I love this color. I really do. Like when Lush first started making bath bombs, it was I used to go on their website and just read the reviews and things like that. And it was um, reviews saying bath bombs we most wouldn't want are red ones because it looks like blood in the tub. Um, yellow ones because it looks like pee in the tub. But now, since the whole black bath bomb thing came out and then they did the red ones after that, people don't seem to mind. So, I used to make red bath bombs. I actually still have one. I'm looking at it now, but, oops, I don't want to stop, you know, doing this right now to grab it so I can show you guys. This is like, it's over a year old. Actually, I think it's like two years old. But um, people didn't really seem to have a problem with buying them then when I used to make them. Um, but luckily, the odd colors are becoming pretty popular now. So, I think I want to make some red bath bombs. I mean, I don't think people really have a problem with taking... If you take a bath in uh, black water, then I don't think you have a problem with any other color. So... I didn't get that a good squeeze. I said that was the last one. Okay, this is the last one, guys. I guess, you know, this is a bonus because the calendula didn't stick to the other one. Okay. And when I say, I don't know if I said this yesterday. Oh, I'm such a ding-dong. <laughs> I didn't put calendula in this one. But, um, as I said, I don't know if I said yesterday. When I put them in the oven... Um, I put the oven on my lowest temperature. Yeah, I did say that. The lowest temperature, which is 170. And um, pop it in there for about 10-15 minutes. It makes them really hard. I didn't necessarily learn that from anyone that I saw. I just know like Lush has a drying chamber for their bath bombs. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try it out. So I did. And I found I liked it. So that's what I do. Especially, I don't know if like when I move... The humidity would be different, but I really have problems with my bath bombs busting open. You know, it's so disheartening to do all this work and then come into your soaping studio the next day and they're all cracked in half. I just, I hate that. So, to avoid that, that's why I like to pop mine in the oven and then wrap them. Oh, that's an ugly one. So, go ahead and put that in face down and give it another squeeze. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do next, but there won't be any more made tonight because it's going to be late and I'm getting tired, but I don't work Friday, so I'm going to be banging out a crazy amount of bath bombs on Friday. I don't really like that one, so there you go, guys. I'm going to redo this one because I don't like this here, so, well, you guys get the gist of it. All right, on to the next set.
guys so i am back and this will be my last and final bath bomb video that i do for this video or whatever you say well a bath bomb batch should i say for this video and i wasn't going to film anymore because it's been several days since the last one uh, that i made on this video but i decided to come back and do this one because this one i got this fragrance from rustic essential of course all of my fragrances are but this is lemon eclair and this is the one i told you guys in that haul that smells like archway lemon ice cookies it smells so friggin good Ugh. i'm telling you guys it just makes you your mouth water yeah so i'm not gonna take you guys through all the mixing because of course you saw that several times and in here this little milky yellowish substance is uh, my wet ingredients which is my fragrance some witch hazel some oils some stuff so um if you want to know that recipe again you can go and look at my other video that i gave the recipe that i used so that's what's in here and um i got this mold today from hobby lobby which is um a little bundt cake so these are going to be some bath bombs that are a little bit bigger and i'm going to stuff them with in beds so see you in a second all right guys i'm back so um I already started packing this because I just wanted to see if my mixture was good enough to stick to the sides. And it is. So, um, I don't know how this is going to look, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I will cover that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to cover the center or not, but I do want to. So, this yellow is divine. It's the exact color that I wanted it to be. So, I'm going to go ahead and pack this around the walls kind of neatly. And then I will fill the rest. So I have made um, another, um, I think I showed you guys that. I don't remember what I did. It's been a couple of days. But uh, what is it? Heart of Gold or Golden Hearts. So I'm going to take these little embeds and toss them in there too. I'll just put two because I end up not using them because I didn't like them. So I got this glorious blue here. So I'm going to put a little bit of blue on that side, as you can see, and then this red is starting to dry out. So I'm going to put um, a little bit of red over there, just like that. See, see, see. All right. So now, um, then the rest, I'm going to fill a little bit more blue and dust that on the inside. And these, uh, the red and blue, they don't have... Um, Oh, I don't know how well this is gonna work so because <laughs> I'm getting red and blue in everything else but they don't have all my extras that I put in um, my yellow like my um, oils and all that it's just mixed with water so now I'm gonna take this and then pack the top just go ahead and put it over there lightly and give it a little pack down and I'm gonna lightly pack it nothing crazy and I thought this mold would be just perfect, and it is. And I like these molds because they're very easy to unmold with bath bombs. So, that's why I wanted to try it. And now, I just need something to smooth the bottom out because that's kind of crazy looking, ain't it? Alright, so I'm going to clean off this butter knife that I used to stir my mixture. This fragrance, I just refuse to use it because it smelled just that amazing. And for those of you who do know what Archway... A lemon ice cookie smell like you know what I mean um <laughs> I just couldn't make myself use it until I found something just really cool for it so that's why I'm just now using it it does smell amazing and like I said this yellow turned out perfect absolutely so there we go oh it smells so good in here so I'm just gonna keep pressing those edges down just so they're nice and sealed and then I'm going to give it a smack on the table so it'll fall out. All right, so I'll show you guys. I'm going to smack it on the table, then I'll show you once I get it out of the mold. Hopefully, it comes out pretty easily. They normally do in these molds, like I said. So I'm going to move over here. And there you have it. Oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to bring you guys over here so you can see it. How cute is that? Huh? 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 So, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and make a bunch of these. Um, I'll do one more, and then I'm going to dress the top of these with some mica. And I'll let you guys see that. So, let me turn the camera back around. 
<sighs> guys it is just a disaster in here because <laughs> i've been doing so much so so much but hey it's that time of year you know you have to and i'm very pleased with my timing because um last year i was way off <laughs> so go ahead and give that a little squirt and all i'm mixing this with is plain old h2o distilled water of course i'll just use the same water i use for my ct soaps and of course again you can't see the red but i'm gonna do the same because i have my heat on and whenever my heat is on it kind of tends to dry out my better very quickly okay i think i made too much of the red and blue because i really don't need that much but hopefully i'm able to get a nice amount of these that looks like a real bunt cake oh my goodness the texture is made for y'all okay so it should be a nice surprise when that hits the tub if i have a little one left i will give you guys a sample oh, that's starting to dry up too Get that mixed around. I will not stick that spatula in there because it has um, the red and blue on it. So I'm just going around the bowl. All right, because the bottom is still nice and moist. So I just mix the dry bits in with the moist bits, you know? Okay. So, oh, this smells so good. You got to get some, guys. You have to, okay? I will be the first to tell you to run out to Rustic Essential and get you some of this fragrance oil because it smells just that amazing. You don't need to see the blue. I mean, okay, you know what I'm doing to do with that. So, bring you where you can see. It does smell pretty hoop and fab. It is a must-have, definitely so. And that's just one of those fragrances that is just good all year round. So, just get it to stick to the walls. And then I'll take out the excess I had a bunch of other embeds already made and I thought to pop those in here too but since I'm doing the red and the blue hopefully that'll make a nice pretty purple figured there was real really no real need for me to go putting in all of those embeds you know you know you know so all right so yeah I probably need to wet this a little bit more because it is starting to dry out and I probably should just turn the heat off you know until I'm finished because it is drying out my batter pretty fast. And I don't like that. So, let's see. Get that up there on the sides. Let's do a little mash. Because it's still damp. I don't know why it's acting so thinny. So, <laughs> I really do like this little mole. Yeah, so I went to Hobby Lobby today, Gabe and I. And um, we kind of went nuts. Well, I went nuts. He just um, actually didn't stop me from doing it. He was actually cheering me on. Honey, look at this. You should get that. You should get this. I'm like, bad, Gady. You're supposed to be stopping me. So, <laughs> yeah, I ended up getting, I went in there to get one thing. You hear me? One thing. But, of course, I ended up spending $30. And it was, like, super duper packed. Uh, oh, okay. Everything just, like, dried out super fast. So, <laughs> I need to spray this again and I don't care if it shrinks down my batter because again I don't need that much any here so but yeah um they had some really really good sales and if I can remember at the end of this video I will show you guys maybe I'll do it in another video Hang on. no I'll show you because I know if I plan to do another video Kenny will forget so I'll just show you at the end but I didn't get a whole whole lot but I ended up spending $30 even though I didn't get a whole lot imagine that so um oops I got blue like spluttering all over my fingers here so sorry that you guys can't see what I'm doing my hands are too grody to be touching the camera to move it up I'm just re-wetting my red but yeah I was able to get some molds um I got a leaf mold silicone matter of fact it's sitting here so i'll just show you quickly so i got that it was like three bucks and um i got some impression mats and they were oh i had, i wish i would have paid attention to her name um just type in impression mats on youtube and she'll come up but she was the one who mentioned she as in the person that i'm talking about she was the one who mentioned um where to get the Oh, I gotta turn this heat off. Everything's starting to dry up so fast. So I could probably 
steak down on the bottom and get some of the wet batter out. I'm going to go ahead and top that on there. Just like so. And not use this blue and red hand. <laughs> but yeah, she mentioned it. So, because I had been looking for those impression mats forever. And, um, guys, I got to pause. I got to wash my hand because I'm like messing this all up. Alright, yeah. But, um, I had found the lady's channel. And she was saying where she got, um... Her impression mats from and she said Hobby Lobby and I don't go in Hobby Lobby very much I've been in there this I think it's like my third time oops took too much off but um yeah that's what she got her impression mats in you get four um there's a the plastic ones you get four of those for $3.99 I want to say so that's a good price they didn't have a huge selection but the ones that I did get I only got two they were really cute and then like the whole store was 50 to 70 percent off so, um, I didn't even venture to look at any of that stuff because I knew I'd be in trouble if I did. But I ended up getting a really cute stand because my soap cake for Amy Borden's challenge. Um, I wanted a display stand for that. So, I ended up getting a cake stand. It was $7.99. Well, display stand. It was $7.99 and 50% off. And they had a cupcake holder. But I'm like, stop while you're ahead, Kenny. Get the hell out of here. So, that's what I did. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop this one out. Oh, those are love. Love them. Okay. So, I'm going to continue on because things are drying up. And I will show you when I come back to Drizzle the Top. See you then. Bye. Alright, I am back. And, um, I got way more than I thought I was going to get. Um, I ran out of room here. And I have, I think, four or five on my stove. So, what I have here is, um, excuse my super dry hands, I've been dry washing my hands over and over again because I didn't want to mix the blue and red with the yellow, but it's just some, um, some snowflake mica, and I'm going to drizzle this over the top. I don't know exactly if I'm going to like this because Gabe suggested I use white, and that's the closest to white, and to me, it's not really looking like much. So I'm going to do it, but then I'm going to um, mix, put another color on it too. So this would be probably an accent color. And I had to turn my heat off because that's like super annoying. It was like really drying out my uh, bath bomb batter. But um, I was able to get it done without them drying up too much. My red and blue turned completely like just like gravel but I was able to pack them inside of my um bath bombs just fine because they were on the inside so I think they'll make for a cool display and I did have one where the bottom fell off so I just repacked it and the bottom's still there so I'm going to show you guys what that looks like um oh excuse me for all of the sniffling but uh I don't know what color I'm going to use next so let me think for a second guys let me think um, I wish you guys were here to tell me what color I should use next, because I don't know. Maybe I will use some gold? Hmm. I don't know. Hard decision. So, um, I guess while I'm thinking, I'll show you guys what I got from Hobby Lobby before I forget. So, my stand. Oh, this is my little stand I got for my, um, cake. That I made for Amy Ward's uh, Ward and Soap Challenge. And it was $7.99 and I got that for 50% off. I showed you the leaf mold. And then I got this little cutie right here. How cute is that? This was $9.99 and I got 40% off of this. And then I got a pair of scissors because my scissors won't even cut plastic. What a shame. Those were $2.49. And then I got these... Um, impression mats. There's four per pack and I'm going to put these in the bottom of my uh, Rust Rustic Essential <laughs> Essential Depot uh, molds that I use for my soaps and my baskets. I'm just going to cut them to size. And I got that one as well so it'll make this little design there. But really cute. So you tell me how that ended up costing 30 bucks. <laughs> I don't know. I had to look at my receipt. I'm just like wait a minute. Um, did he overcharge me? No, he did not. Even though everything was on sale, it just adds up very, very quickly. So, um, yeah, that's what I got. And then I got some stuff from Michael's as well, which are just some mini, um, 
chalkboards, which I won't even bore you with showing you that. So now I got to figure out what color I'm going to use because these colors here are just not impressing me. I want to do gold, but have I not done gold enough? Maybe a yellow, but then yellow on yellow doesn't really look that well either. Oh, I wish you guys were here. What can I do? I don't know. Maybe I'll just use glitter. Yeah, maybe I'll just use glitter. So, with that being said, I'm going to grab some glitter and see how that works. I'll use a gold glitter. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. It is so windy outside. It's just crazy how the temperature has dropped over 40 degrees. It's windy and it's snowing and it was 73 yesterday. Craziness? Yes, craziness. So, I'm going to try this gold glitter. I'm just going to do one for now to see if I love it. Mm, nope, but <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. Just because I think it'll jazz it up a little bit. It's just color. It's very bright, which I love the color. It's just I'm trying to make them... I don't know why I'm trying to make them look so realistic because I feel because they're bunt cakes and they should be, um, they should look like real cakes, right? Oh, a gold mica would be good. You know, I just thought about that. So I'm going to sprinkle that on there and then I'm going to put some gold mica on there. I just thought about how good that would look. It just came to me, guys. It just came to me. So, um, now that I put that glitter on there, you guys probably can't see it because it's very light. Uh, let me see. I'm going to use my Rustic Essentials 24 karat, which I have used the crap a lot out of this. So, go ahead and add just a little bit. Excuse me, guys. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm, all, <laughs> I'm at the bottom of the barrel on that one. So, um, I did get a different goal from them. So, I'm not too worried about running out. I think the gold would look good. It just came to me that it would look good. So I'm going to pour. I mix my especially like my ones that have uh, flakes in them. Like more like the glitter mica. I mix those with alcohol. Because when I did my uh, heart of gold with oil, the oil just didn't want to dry up. So I'm not doing that again. Alright, so I'm going to give that a little mix. And I know you guys are just like, okay, Kenny, we can't see anything. I promise I'm coming. And if this bothers you, you are more than welcome to fast forward. So, I didn't do a whole lot. So, go ahead. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I did enough. <laughs> so, let's just see how that's going to look. Oh, yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yep, I do. So, guys, um, I'm not going to make you sit and wait until I make some more gold makeup. Oh, that just jazzed it up lovely. I like that a lot. I hope you guys like it too. If you do like it, please do give a thumbs up. If you don't like it, don't give me a thumbs down. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and jazz these up. And then I'll be back with the, with the demo. Yeah, of how it looks in the water. See you soon. Okay, I am back. Now, um, I guess this is not going to be like the full experience. I probably should put this camera down. Let me do that. But um, it's not going to be the full experience because this is only the bottom half of the bath bomb. Uh, let me let this down some more. Jeez, it's just like, there we go. <laughs> oh, if my camera falls in this sink, oh my lord. Okay, I'm forever adjusting the camera <laughs> while I'm filming. Oh, you guys should be used to it by now. So, yeah, this is not going to be the full effect just because um, this is just the bottom half of one. So, I'll show you. So, the top broke off, which is the bottom in the mold, and I just let it be. So, I just figured I'd demo it anyway, so let's go ahead and drop that in there. Oh, wow. Look at that blue. And now, I was hoping that these were floaters, just because, um, maybe once they dry out, they will be. I didn't put enough, um, tech tacky <laughs> tapioca starch in it and I'm gonna go ahead and drop these little uh, hearts in there as well hunters gonna kill me because I gave them to her but they are in the um, bath bomb so I might as well add them just for the effect of it all you know you know all right so there you have it that just kind of blows that this sunk I was hoping that um, it would be a floater but I didn't put enough tapioca starch in there 
And that water is fucking hot, man. Ow. So, <laughs> um, I guess as expected, you're not going to see any of the yellow. Just because it had blue and red in there. And sorry about the lighting. The lighting could have been so much better. But in my kitchen, I was not about to bring my lighting set and all that in here. So, that's what it looks like. Kind of if I bring you guys a little closer, I put my big head in the way in the shadows. So, yeah, you can't, you can see a little bit of the goal right there. Um, camera angle's terrible. But the water is going to be like this cool, um, dark, dark blue. Oh, I wish the lighting was better. Because this blue is very, very gorgeous. And like, I can put my hand in there, you can't even see my hand. So, turned out lovely. I think that'll be a very nice surprise. Um... In the bathtub because you're not expecting it to have those colors in there so that's it guys um yeah hope you enjoy this and there is no um um what am i trying to say polysorbate in these and i use legs and they disperse pretty well so um no need for it and there is no slsa in these either they're just bath bombs so there you go a cool dark blue i do like it all right guys so this was burning my hand i'm gonna go and clean up this massive mess that i made so that's it for the bath bombs for this video of course i'm gonna do more bath bombs on this video um as always remember to be awesome and amazing everything you do always keep it positive you guys have a fucking fantastic thanksgiving and yes by the time this video is posted thanksgiving probably will be here and gone hopefully it won't but if it is posted after Thanksgiving. Ooh, that glitter is love. Wish you guys can see that. That's gorgeous. Um, if it is after Thanksgiving, I hope you guys spent lots of time with your family. And, you know, we're very blessed. So I'm going to go now because I got masses of mess to clean up and more stuff to make to make more masses to clean up. <laughs> love yous. Bye.